it's dark and desolate in the Arizona desert at 4.30 a.m. Trooper Ed Anderson is working Interstate 10 when an alarming call comes in. Of a pedestrian shooting at traffic or with a gun. Anderson finds an overturned vehicle and two possible victims. A male subject kneeling on his knees, holding a female in, her, in his arms. Anderson moves his vehicle to block the slow lane, but when he returns to the victims, the woman is there, but the man is gone. So I scanned with my flashlight, and as I scanned to my right, I found him. He was standing in the emergency lane, and as my light hit him, I could tell he already had his weapon pointed at me. The suspect shoots Anderson in the right shoulder, disabling his dominant arm. Next thing I know, I look up and he's charging me, and his gun is up in the air and he strikes me on the head with his gun. The men fall to the ground as they battle. I roll to my right side so he doesn't get my gun because I knew if he got my gun, it would be all over with then. As Anderson fights for his life, a few motorists pass by. No one calls 911. It takes a certain person to actually stop put their lives on the line. That person is Thomas Yoxel. He exits his pickup, legal firearm in hand. He's beating him in a savage way and just uh, fist after fist. What was his energy like, the, the suspect? Evil. If I was going to put a word on it, it was evil. I heard a voice uh, telling him to get off. And then I heard the same voice ask me if I needed help. And I said, yes, I do. And then uh, the next thing I hear is two shots. I had a, a clear line of fire, and, and uh, at that moment I had to um, discharge my weapon. I heard a voice, which I, I believe was Thomas. He said, oh, the suspect won't be getting up no more. What do you think would have happened if Thomas didn't show up? I probably wouldn't be here right now. Once so close to death, the two now forging a bond for life. How you doing, brother? Good. I get to see the grandkids grow up. My daughters, you know, get married eventually. So he did a, a fabulous thing. Stephanie Elam, CNN, Youngtown, Arizona.